Good morning. Ooh, it looks really sunny, but well, it's sunny, but it's two degrees. It's quite it's quite nippy. Wind uh, is off now, so I'm still swollen. It's got my little what have I got my fat face bag as usual, and as usual, got my. I don't know what you can see. I've got my Marks and Sparks loungewear on, even though I'm going out. Another Stella and Dot. Uh, going to meet some friends for coffee. Woo! Well, we were due to do a lot of things over the weekend outside, but it's freezing and yesterday it was rainy and it's going to carry on, I think, for the foreseeable, apart from this wee break today. So, my friends have the same thoughts as me. Quick coffee outside. Uh, <clears throat> but it is in my my favourite stomping ground, although I, I don't know if I should put, stop on, trying to put a ban on myself because the amount of kitchen where I'm coming back with, somebody doesn't even cook. It's possibly getting out of hand. Well, I call them kitchen ornaments really. But I can't not look. Yeah, and where we're having coffee is literally opposite one of my faves. So it'd be rude and not, not to do that. So I'll have a looky loo trying out new coffees because where we're going is vegan and I just can't get on with the soy milk and that I'm used to really like fully skim milk and I find them all really creamy and everyone's giving me suggestions so the other day I had a short a short black in there but it was really bitter even with sugar in it so I'm going to find out if their espresso is like it must be freshly done is not it and try that because that might be better also I'm like an old lady with taste buds have been burnt away so I need my drinks really hot I want it to scald my tongue so <sighs> and probably get a little cakey cake or some sourdough toast or some, some little nibble thing hey, well I'll, uh, I'll film if I can when I pop in to my usuals and let you know if I get anything when I get home
I have got a bit of a pouch addiction to show you what I'm talking about when I get home. And I've got a tiny Wedgwood saucer, trinket, dish, ashtray thing. Because <sighs> I like that blue and white Wedgwood. I'm going to resist that when it's a little and just pop it in my bag. Right, let's try the other range, which is my bag. Let's hope that I don't get ruptured by any more clues. Still got this pretty jug, which I didn't make up last time. I was pretty restrained. I have just a well small bag of goodies and I had a fold out bag with me. I was that was quite restrained. Uh, thanks to store update on the lovely mid century vase with the hobnails. This ombre colour apparently is called Amberina, which gorgeous. Amberina, I love that. Yeah, love it even more. Everything about it. So, what did I get? What did I get? Really not too bad. I was trying to be restrained on it anyway. I was only down there on Tuesday. It's only Thursday, but as I was down there for coffee, there was no point in not nipping in. Oh, yeah. I don't... I like blue jasper. Just blue jasper wear, but uh, I really shouldn't have picked up. It looks like an ashtray, which is a bit weird. I'm trying to take the label off. 149. Which is a bit weird for... Which word is not? Would you stop out cigarettes in that? Because you know, like usually you think, oh, it's a trinket dish, but those are like for facts, aren't they? Strange. But yeah, I do like this, but I, I don't. It doesn't go with anything I've got. It's ridiculous. I shouldn't have picked it up. But there you go. Which word? Blue Jasper wear. Because I cannot be helped. Uh, oh, my other thing that I've got a bit of an addiction for, apart from curiosities and like nice grass, nice pottery, nice brass, nice <laughs> other things that I'm pretty bad for and I have been for years are pouches. Terrible for buying pouches. I like I can't stop buying them. This is I couldn't help it. I love I thought, oh that's nice. And it's from British Airways first class that they uh when you go first class and you got your toiletries and stuff for the flight. Uh and it's temporary. Uh, ooh, can you see that? Yeah. I just thought, oh, that's such a nice design. And these tend to be, yeah, unused or, you know, left on the flight. I imagine the air hostesses flog them. It's not when, it's not got its uh, innards, but that's fine, because I just thought, oh, yeah, it's still got some bit of plastic in there. Um, I've just got pouch addiction. I say, I say, I say, that's like storage. It's just... So useful, isn't it? Especially if I mean, you can put them in your bag to keep stuff from flying all over the place, like tampons and stuff. Or if you're going, you know, on holiday, you put your glasses in there. I put I put a spare bikini in there when I go on holiday abroad. Maybe one day I put a spare bikini in my carry-on because I think if I if they lose my luggage, I've got a bikini, I'll be alright. Um, and another pouch. How much was that pouch? 
That one was 99p. I mean, why? There's no reason not to, is there? And then Anorak, a new with tags Anorak pouch. Could not help myself. How much was this one? 149. Um, bumblebees. Is it bumblebees? Oh, it's, it's worker bees. Uh, yeah, Anorak, this brand, we've, it's like a mail order company and we've got a load of their towels with things like whales on and hedgehogs and things because it's just cute and it's quite pricey Anorak, well, relatively I think it's, well, it's, it's not cheap, it's not cheap. Um, and yeah, huge pouch with bees on, new towels, I mean why, I couldn't, why would I not, like, right. it's only 149 Brainer. Right, and then, yeah, last thing, sure I mean, this is getting ridiculous, this is, this is just a saga now, this is getting out of hand, this is the lid, yes, can you see that, and again, the manager was, was had it on her counter, and I'm like, oh, that just come in, yeah, it's just placed it up actually, oh, that's you, Look, and oh, trying to drop this. I did actually manage to come up with a hill this time that I'm to call Tom the Cruze saucepan. And I think this it says 20 on the bottom, and I think this is cast iron. Is a I think this color is Marseille blue. So we've got so we've got volcanic orange we've got oh, put these away from the other day either we've got red mama and now we've got i think marseille blue but if any recruits experts are watching put me straight if that is not marseille blue but three pound 49 i mean it's ridiculous not to isn't it yeah 20 20 is the diameter and quite a good knit to be honest but I don't know I'm like a Le Creuset magnet at the moment <laughs> I found three bits this week but I am a Le Creuset magnet so right well my local car boot's not really starting yet so that'll be me till Tuesday so I'll try and stay out of trouble although I do want to order some DM sandals. Oh, I haven't shown you mine and Connie's hunter boots. Hang on, I'll grab those and show you. We've both got the same, in the same size. How gorgeous. And because they are, I've tried them on in the floor, lovely. Because we're kids sizes, size four, they, I don't know, the tall ones, I think I like 50 quid instead of 100. Uh, but I also, I can't remember what these were, but I know I found like, what was it, 20% off code and free delivery? So, thanking you. That'd be nice, but walking when it's raining in the summer, which will be, well, hopefully it won't be all the time, but it's certainly going to be for the following week, there's going to be rain. Ah, oh, looking on the positive side, that does mean I can go walking in my hunter boots. Because I'm just, my DMs just, just sorry for themselves at the moment with all the walking, with all the dust attracted. But that would be ideal. Ooh, yes. Right, that'll do. Let me know if you've been thrifting this week, if you found anything fabulous, or if you've bought anything fabulous. Or if you're just having a lovely week. And, what is it, Thursday. Oh yeah, I'm off to see Titus soon, my surgeon. I'll check it down. And that um yeah and bank holiday weekend so have a beautiful weekend bye bye don't die p.s i forgot made it to 1500 subs that's so nice it's so nice and i know that i'm now gonna jinx it because it's like a 1500 like a lovely round you know just looks nice and round and neat just the way i like things uh, but thank you to all the people that did subscribe after I said, oh, if you do want to, you know, find them. Uh, thank you. And thank you to all the, how should I phrase this? 
uh, the OG Shell's World crew. <laughs> I was going to say the long, the long suffering Shell's World crew, but uh, yeah, isn't that nice? 1500 of us now. So I like that. It's that sits nicely with me. Yeah. And so bye bye. Don't die.